Mama's Boy. In this program, we will meet priests from around the globe. We will discuss interesting features of their lives, from their humble beginnings, their calling, the churches, and more. Our guest for today is the Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Manila since 2006. He is also the Chair of the CBCP Commission on the Laity. Let us get to know more about Most Reverend Broderick Sonquaco Pabillo. Hello Bishop, I'm Karen Po from Limang Siglo, the host po of Mama's Boys. Thank you so much po for allowing us to interview you, uh, Bishop. Uh, kindly tell us po uh, a little something about yourself. So yes. I am Bishop Broderick Pabilio. At the moment, I am the Apostolic Administrator of the Archdiocese of Manila. Although I have been in Manila since uh, 2006, but I am not from Manila. Uh, my home province is Negros Occidental. So I was born in Victoria City on uh, March 11, 1955. So I am an Ilongo, but uh, I grew up in my elementary years in Naga City, Camarinisur, because uh, my father, who was an electrical engineer, was hired to work in the Bicol Electric Company at that time in Bicol. So I stayed there for about 10 years. And uh, my mother, who was a public school teacher, also taught in the high school, public high school of that city. How many years have you been in the ministry, Paul Bishop? So I was ordained on uh, 19... 82, but I was ordained as a bishop in uh, 2006. So I am, uh, I think this is a 15th year of being a bishop. If I may ask, Paul Bishop, why did you choose to become a priest, Paul? For me, it was not really a choice. I just went along the flow no, of my life. When I was invited to join the seminary, I joined the seminary and I was then second year high school. And from that time on, it went on smoothly. There was no crisis at all. And the superiors uh, also accepted me. In every step, there are um, applications. So I applied and it was accepted and moved on smoothly. So I studied uh, my high school, first year high school in Don Bosco, Victorias. So I was invited by the Salesians of Don Bosco to join them. So in the second year of high school, I joined the juniorate or the minor seminary of uh, the Salesians of Don Bosco. And at that time, that was in San Fernando, Pampanga. So I had my high school, third year up to fourth year in San Fernando, Pampanga. And then moved on to college and the college seminary of the Salesians was uh, or is up to now in Canlubang, Laguna. So I stayed there in Canlubang, Laguna for my college years. How about your parents, Bo Bishop? Uh, what did they tell you when you say to them that you want to enter the seminary, Bo? At the beginning, when I attempted to tell them about the invitation to go to the seminary, they uh, were hesitant. In fact, they did not allow me. But then the Salesians were uh, persistent, so they themselves came to my parents and asked permission, and they allowed me. But how was your journey po, during your priesthood? Po? 
during my priesthood, yes. uh, when I became priest. So after my studies in UST, now I studied theology in UST while staying with the Salesians, I was asked to go to Rome to study the Bible. Because at the time, the Salesians were thinking of setting up their own theology center. Instead of sending their students to UST, they wanted to, set, to make up their own theology center. So I was asked to study the Bible at the Biblicum in Rome. So I stayed there for about three and a half years. And uh, in 1986 of June, I came back and I asked for pastoral experience because I had no pastoral experience yet. And I was given the pastoral experience as assistant parish priest in the Salesian Paris in San Ildefonso, Makati. And after that, I was assigned in um, the Theologate in the Don Bosco Center of Studies in Paranaque. And I've been staying there as a formator, as a professor, you know, up to 1999. And uh, from 1999, I was allowed to uh, experience pastoral work among the poor. And uh, I volunteered to go to Palawan you know, in uh, Barangay Macarascas, that's in the outskirts of Puerto Princesa. No, and uh, I was assigned there no, in a poor parish for about seven years until 2006 when I was called back to serve as auxiliary bishop here in Manila. Mm -hmm. uh, bishop, many of our guests here in uh, our program po, tell us uh, their inspirations was their parents because of their uh, prayerful parents and of course uh, the seminary they uh, attended to. How about you, Bishop? Who was your inspiration for? There is no particular person, uh, but naturally the formators in the seminary would encourage us, no? and I just tried to follow their own encouragement, and it came to this. So, but I could not uh, point out any particular person that really became as an inspiration for me, as a model. Uh, there are the saints, there are also the formators that I had. Uh, so all of them have their own contribution. What made you decide po, to accept your role as a bishop? It is another form of service that I would have to do. So uh, anyway, I was called to be a bishop. It never entered into my mind uh, to become a bishop especially to stay here in Manila, to be a bishop, auxiliary bishop of Manila. But that was the service that I was called, and uh, for me, uh, that's part of my uh, vow to be obedient, to serve the Lord wherever I'm called. So I accepted the invitation to be a bishop in Manila. What were the challenges po, uh, of becoming a bishop? Uh, one important challenge is that I will have uh, to leave my parish in uh, Macarascas. I enjoyed working among the poor, especially among the fisher folks, among the farmers, among the indigenous peoples, no? and uh, the simple life of a parish in uh, a faraway place. And I come to Manila, no, with all the hustle and bustle and the schedules here. And I have to find my way because uh, I have not been really active in the Archdiocese of Manila. So I know, I do not know much about the structure, about the people, the priests in the Archdiocese. And I have to learn and to come to know of them little by little. Of course, in the Salesians, you have your own community and you work together with your community according to the mission of the congregation. And the mission of the Salesians was for the poor youth. Whereas now as a bishop, my direct superior would be the cardinal, the archbishop, and uh, I would be uh, given tasks depending on the need. At the beginning, I was asked to 
take care of the social services of the Archdiocese. And then uh, it was added on to me the work of formation, take care of the seminaries. And then I have also to take care of the guest priests in the Archdiocese. So all of these come to me according to the need of the Archdiocese. But besides serving the Archdiocese as a bishop, I am also part of the CBCP, the Conference of Bishops. And also I was given responsibilities in the CBCP. And the first responsibility given to me was to take charge of uh, the EXA-JP, the Episcopal Commission on Social Justice. Uh, so I have to attend to the national needs for rehabilitation during times of typhoon, calamities, and also advocacies uh, to help the farmers for the land reform or the workers. And then uh, I was assigned the Office of Public uh, Affairs so to connect with the uh, government offices. And now my present assignment in the CBCP is to take care of the laity, the lay faithful. So that's also one of my jobs now. Want to know more of Bishop Broderick Pabillo? Tune in to Limang Siglo's YouTube channel for the second part of our interview. There you have it, guys. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Mama's Boys. Hope to see you in our future episode. This has been your host, Karen Dane. Jamataraishune! Ja